Good morning, everybody. This is Techno Blast, and it seems like the PlayStation 5 is also involved with this whole CMOS C bomb issue. So, not only the PS4 will completely brick on you if the CMOS battery completely dies, the PlayStation 5 will also result in the same fate. So, that means if your CMOS battery of your PlayStation 5 for any reason gets drained, gets, you know, just dies on you for whatever reason, that means your PlayStation five console is a complete brick literally you will not be able to play playstation 5 games physically nor digitally so the woes for sony the playstation branch just continues to pile on that like nothing has been gone right for the playstation 5 since the day of launch it's failure after fa after failure after failure they just got an update the other day to allow external hard drive to be able to store playstation 5 you're not able to play playstation 5 but you're at least able to store playstation 5 games and not have to re-download it again. So let me read you what impact is with this C-bomb on a PlayStation 5. To make matters worse, if this is indeed in line with what we have seen with the PS4, the only solution would be to use homebrew, which isn't exactly an easy process to undertake for the un uninitiated and usually a route to piracy for those that do. Essentially, if you want to play the PlayStation 5 games, you have to purchase legitimately when Sony decides to take down its PS4. PS5 servers, you'll be forced to use methods normally reserved for pirates, even if you replace the CMOS. All of this suggests that Sony's stand, Sony stand on video game preservation is questionable at best, more so when the company chooses to remain silent despite repeated requests from comment. These findings are crucial as they come at a time when Sony's policy regarding video game preservation are under fire. They follow a report from The Gamer that stated that the PS3, PSP, and the PS Vita storefronts will permanently sh be shuttered, which the company was eventually, they eventually confirmed. It's disappointing that Sony chooses to be silent about video game preservation and its legacy, which many hold dear despite repeated requests for comment. If the video games industry wants to have the same credibility and recognition as the art world, preservation and access is crucial, and it appears Sony is failing on both fronts. So I agree with this. Many people think video games or believe video games is an artwork because there it is an artwork. It's just like film. I mean, there's a lot of scripting and there's a lot of design. There's a lot of voice actors. So yes, it's in line with art. And with art, which is maybe a movie or a show or even a painting, you want to preserve it so others can watch it. It is no different with video games. You want to preserve video games because you want other generations who never got a chance to play it to send, someday discover these old video games that we currently are enjoying and having fun with it. Whether if it's an online game or a single player game, you want following generations to enjoy the games that we're currently enjoying now. Now, many people may argue, hey, that new generation that, that, play, that plays video games, they, they just want to play what's what's playing now. No, we we as, as myself, I grew up in a large portion of how video games evolved from the Atari 2600 to what we have now. And I'm gonna show my son if he's into this, you know, into video games, which right now he is, I'm gonna show you, hey, look at these classic games. You'll have fun with it. Sure, they don't look the greatest like they do now, but these are fun games that should be played by everyone who enjoys video games and especially old video games. With with the whole CMOS battery and the storefront screen shut down, just Sony just keeps dropping the ball left and right, not wanting to preserve any video games, not preserving their storefronts. Whereas Microsoft are doing, they're doing everything right. You can still sign on to your Xbox 360 right now and purchase a game, whether it's on a 360 console or, or on the Xbox One doing a um, backward comp or right now with the current gen of the Xbox 360, I mean the Xbox series, you can still buy Xbox One games and the Xbox 360 and original Xbox games. That my friends is what you call game preservation. If anything, I would show my, my sons, hey, Xbox is the way to go because look, four generations of video games are here at your disposal and you can play them as much as you want. Whereas on, X, on the P PlayStation, you can't do that. They don't preserve anything. They continue to believe this generation way of doing things and it's failing. Sony needs to get with the times because it's just bad news for Sony and the games that are under under its umbrella. All right, guys, this is Tano Blast. Tell me what you think down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear your opinion. And until then, I'm out.